Hi friends, this is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Oakland County, Michigan. I'm an A7 size girl in an A2 size world. I make five by seven cards. I've done this video three times. Yes, three times. But I've changed my mind. We're gonna go to do something a little bit easier today. We will do a different card, a little bit more stepped up card, a couple. <laughs> in a couple weeks because I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so we're going to do something really easy. We're probably going to use this so sincere. Please take note of my host code. Uh, it's bonus days. So if you're going to be um, purchasing anything from Stamp It Up, now's the time to do it. For every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon uh, sent directly to your email. And then you can redeem one or more or 10 or 20, however many uh, five dollar coupons you have you could redeem them in August and for us that's great for demonstrators because we have a new catalog out coming out okay so take note of my host code please you could use that if you don't have a demonstrator all right so I have um, a spotlight on nature and these country something country country county country countryside corners just in case for the sentiment not exactly sure what the sentiment's going to be. I want to use this paper. That's what I want to do. And, um, oh, give me a minute. The paper is way over here. It's called Wildly Flowering. Terrible name. Terrible name. Terrible name. Beautiful paper. Oh my gosh. So, 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 so pretty. Love it. Like the colors. Moody Mauve, Misty Moonlight, uh, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, and of course, white. So this is good for summer and for fall. Oh, I'm sorry, you probably didn't. I, I'm looking at them, you probably can't see them. They are, they're just really pretty. I even like this wild wheat, which I forgot to mention in there. I like the wild wheat, but this is my favorite. This uh, crumb cake with the burlapy look, my favorite. So that's what we're gonna use today. All right. This isn't that just oh, oh, all right. I'm gonna have to buy more of that. That'll probably be on my list of when I purchase some things. I am going to get myself some paper pumpkin. I do want to talk to you today while I'm doing this about the upcoming, um, the upcoming 12 by 12 paper. I think I've mentioned this to you guys this before, but I'm not really sure. All right, so we have a two inch by six and three eighths. All right, two inch by six and three eighths, a one and a half, and a one and a half by six and three eighths, okay? So we have these three of this paper, this side, which is, and then this side, all right? So we're gonna do something with that. We have, the, I said two and a half, right? Two and a half. So this is two and three eighths by six and th five eighths. Good gravy. So I just want the smallest amount of white around there. All right, we'll add that together. So it is my understanding that Stampin' Up! is going to have white core, 12 by 12 paper, double-sided, one side is going to be our standard color. The other side is going to be, wait for it, a lighter or a darker color. Not sure if they're gonna go lighter or darker, I don't know. I'm assuming it's lighter, but I don't know. Can you imagine? It's gonna be so much fun. We're going to have more colors, two-tone paper and white core. And you think, oh, well, what's the fun of that? All right, so just think in your mind. 3D embossing folders, sanding paper, distressed, ripping it, right? Okay, and also, I have a four and three quarters by six and three quarters piece of uh, basic white, five by 10, no, 10 by seven piece of Miss uh, Moody Mauve squared in half. Then, think about, now I'm gonna put these on here, leaving a little white border all the way around, all right? Then, Think about the fact that you can get four pieces 
of 5 by 7 card bases out of 12 by 12 paper. And it is not double the price of a 8.5 by 11 as of now. So you know what that means? Cheaper. Yes, that's what I said. It's going to be cheaper. So not only do we get the white core and the double sided, it's going to be cheaper for us. So I'm stocking up. Yes, I'm stocking up on 12 by 12 paper once it comes out in the, um, the scrapbooking paper. Hopefully they're going to do different colors. Hopefully they're going to do pat. Hopefully they're going to do something. Hopefully it's going to be fun. Maybe with each. You remember how it used to be that Stampin' Up! If they had like this designer series paper right here, then they had a pack that went with it two or four pieces of each color that went with it. I love those because then you'd grab a piece of designer series paper, grab the bundle that went with it, and you were all set for what you needed for that cardstock. So I'm hoping that's what they do. We'll see, I don't know. I'm excited. And then, da da da, -da Really, yes, yes. We're gonna have so much fun with this 12 by 12 paper. I love it. I can't wait. So I'm going to stock up on it. The only thing that I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know how I'm going to store it because I store mine in specific ways. This is um, some dimensionals, just a foam pad that doesn't actually have anything cut. So I'm going to cut it a little bit here and there and it's the same size as dimensionals, but it will allow me to do what I need. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're gonna pop this up. Boop, that's it, right in the middle. Right in the middle, that's it. That's all we're doing. Simple, easy sketch. I would have put this all the way across. Two reasons I didn't. The first reason I didn't is because it takes up more paper, but the real reason I didn't is because that's not what the sketch I was going to do. I was gonna do something else. And then I thought, oh no, I like it. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I like it a lot. And, it goes underneath enough that you don't need to worry about seeing anything, right? All right, so perfect. I'm just gonna cut these down to where I need them so that they are all the way over here. I'm gonna do it three times. You know I like my dimensionals so they don't go, they don't get squashed in the mail and this is a pretty big piece that's popped up. Boop. All right, now. We'll just add this here. The other one went flying. I'm not sure where it went. We'll deal with it later. All right, I've got two more, so we'll just cut these in half and stick some right here and stick it right here. Oh, I found it. Whoopsie. Cut it in half. I don't want this to go down. I don't know what kind of um, sentiment I want. Uh, so whatever you need, this is a perfect card for it. It could even be a, a sympathy card. It really, it has all the hallmarks of anything that you'd want. Just going to add this right here because, I mean, well, it has the dog hair. It has the appropriate amount of dog hair on it, so it's perfect. All right, I'm going to use this for another piece. Don't let me forget that. All right. All right, friends, so how are you? Are you doing well? Have you done three videos of the same card and then called it quits today? Well, I did. It was so fun. Oh my heavens, everything that could go wrong did go wrong. The first time, I forgot to tell my husband that I was, um, I'm just taking off the dimensionals, that I was, the first time, I forgot to tell my husband that I was recording, and so, well, let's say it was, uh, he screamed and yelled, dinner, what time are we having dinner? And I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> it's not even, it's not even five o'clock yet, and you're worried about dinner. And then the second time, um, my son had a problem and needed me so I stopped that and then I was you know you know how it is and then let's see if there's a dimension I'm gonna put some liquid just in case no I'm, it's gonna be fine I'm just going to put it here in the middle oh I think there, this might be go no I okay anyways and then the last time what happened I don't remember what happened something the dog went upstairs. Oh, it didn't record. That's right. How did I forget? <laughs> it didn't record. Oh, friends, it didn't record. Okay, so what do you think of this? I like it, actually. Do you like it? 
yeah, right? I mean, just a little something different. Now, you cannot tell that it doesn't go all the way through. There's no way. Wait, maybe at the bottom, you can tell right here. See that? No one's gonna pick this up and look though. So, really cute. Cute sketch, made it up myself. Didn't see anything like this, but I thought it was something different. Probably, you know what? It's probably somewhere. I'm sure, I'm, I, it's not like I actually made it up myself. I'm sure, I mean, I made it up myself for me, but I'm sure someone's done it before, but I'm just saying. I was just cutting where I could because like I said, I had leftover, <laughs> I had leftover paper in such a way that I strategically cut my paper. Let me show you how I do that. How I get four pieces here. Whoops, that one's already cut. All right, I'll show you how I do that with some white paper. Isn't this gorgeous? This paper is so beautiful. Let me grab out some. I have some paper here that should work. All right, yeah, I should, okay. So this always goes like that. This goes like that, this goes like that, and then one more, like that. Now, these are four and three quarters by six and three quarters, so you have a little extra line here, which you could use for anything, and you have a center, right? So you always have the square. Uh, if you wanna do five by seven, it's just, there's no, there's no outline. That's the only difference, right? So I always do it in this way. Now, if it's directional, it works for me, right? Because I have a tall piece, a long piece, a long piece, a tall piece. So it works for directional, right? Okay, so that's why, yes, I'm going to be getting the 12 by 12 cardstock that Stampin' Up! is going to offer in a couple months. And I will, as soon as I know about it, I will start sending out little hints to you. And then once I can buy it, I'm going to buy it overnight. I'll send it to me overnight. Okay, so I don't do thank you cards. I was thinking of just for you, and then I hope your day is a happy one, or just for you, be grateful for what you have, be proud of who you are. I mean, there's lots of things. You're in my hearts and my prayers. Um, your kind, well, your kindness is so appreciated is kind of a thankful one. Love spending time with you. You know, knowing you brings joy to my heart. So sincere, great set. Okay. Um, so very proud of you. I've used it a lot just for you. I think I'm gonna use that one. Oh, and it has a happy birthday that's long, right? That's fun. All right, so I think I'm going to do the a little tiny just for you, right? I mean, I don't wanna, I, I really don't wanna mess up the sketch. Now, any other paper, any other paper, I'd be like, Oh yeah, let's grab out the, you know, let's get the largest circle there is. Because right now we're talking about the smallest circle there is, right? I mean, no, not that one. I'd be all for covering this up, but I really don't want to. That's too big. Ooh. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh. All right, so those two might look nice, right? All right, let's try it. Now we have two sets of these. I think we're gonna go with this, this one. I, I kind of want to do the just for you, but there's so many nice ones on here. Like, hope your day is a happy one. That's a nice sentiment. Your kindness is so appreciated. Is a thank you. I don't do thank yous. Just for you is kind of small. I really like this. Hope your day is a happy one. Hope you're feeling better soon. That's a nice one. That's too small, and we were getting in a little bit too big of territory here. You know, I really, really don't want to. All right, let's do, I well, hope your day is a happy one. Let's see what that one looks like. 
it is more of a circle. We're going to do both. We're going to do both. All right. We will grab, ooh, this is some thick designer series paper. Nope, 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 thick basic white. That feels nice and sturdy. That will work for us. All right, we will do that, but I don't want to do that one. I want to do, whoopsie, whoopsie. Let's see, is it this one? This is really pretty. I like this set. Do you guys have it? If you remember correctly, I didn't um, buy the set correctly. Yep. I forgot to add the bundle in, so I spent 10% extra. I was so bad. Yeah, it wasn't happy news. It wasn't happy news at all. Okay, so. What's great about a circle? You know what's great about a circle? It can't be um, wrong. You know what I mean? It, it can't be not in, a, not in the middle. It can't be wrong. It's wonderful. Okay, red rubber. Perfect. I'm going to try it again because I didn't get the Y. That's better. And then um, let's grab some baby wipes. Went to the store and I grabbed a box of baby wipes. And then I found uh, a whole box of baby wipes that I forgot I had. Do you guys ever do that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I laughed because you know, I was telling you guys forever that I couldn't find my baby wipes. That I was running out of baby wipes. Well, I wasn't running out of baby wipes. Just is what it is, right? Is what it is. So fun. Come here. Thank you. Whew, doesn't want to listen today. I was watching a Stampin' Up! demonstrator who does scrapbooking. They're a former maker. And unfortunately, they did not get the memo about the number three plate. She was so struggling with it, so I reached out to her. I hope she um, got the message. If you're ever having problems with your mini emboss, it's because it's too tight, so use your number three plate. All right? It's, please, do not struggle. It is not worth it. We're just going to make this in the middle. It's not worth it. Use your number three plate. You will not, you will not be sorry that you changed to number three. Just run this through. Just gonna see how this looks. Now what's great is, woo! Oh, that's pretty. Oh, you guys. All right, let's just, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. I haven't used these. Wow. Now what we could do is put some Moody Mauve. Moody Mauve, is that the right one? Behind it. Just behind it and not actually make it larger. We're gonna do both. Okay, so here's that. I don't really wanna go much bigger than that, but I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just talking out loud. And just for you, uh-oh. Well, we might, we might not be using just for you because I stamped it too close. Yep, I think I stamped it too close. We're just gonna pull it through. See what happens. Whoopsie daisies. And then I really do wanna use some Moody Mauve. Get it behind there. Do you guys have any 4th of July plans? Mine are not so fun. Yeah, now I'm gonna be cleaning the house. We have some company coming. And I see the little divot down here. I don't think we're going to be using this or I'm going to be stamping it again if it's really bad. All right. Where's my card? Hope your day is a happy one. That's pretty. I don't think it needs anything and I kind of like, I kind of like the non-color behind it. Oh, okay. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. I thought that we would need some color behind it, but we don't. Make sure you don't put your dimensionals close to the edge because that would just look not as pretty. Whew. Here we go. 
Now, I, there, oh, I, mmm, we're going to move this one. No, we're just going to add one to it. We're just going to add one to it, right? That will be double. Whoopee. There we go. And I don't want, I, I really like that. We're going to cover it anyways. Very pretty. All right, now we're not done. We have these little dots. I don't think these are the right dots that go with the set. Um, let's look in my, here under paper, dies, memory keeping, punches, ribbons, stamp sets, inks, embellishments, papers. Card stocks, specialty papers, watercolor papers, punches, huh. For some reason, I thought it was over here. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention anymore. Uh, I think it's on 41. Let's try that. Wildflower Designs. 41, 41, 41. Yes! Okay, so it has a really pretty embossing folder. Not for me because, you know, has some more of these things. This sending happy thoughts is a really nice sentiment. But it's not, you know, it's not worth it for me. But it is definitely has these little dots. I thought so. I thought so because they go perfectly with it. We're just going to pick this up. So these dots, I believe, are perfect even for... Um, sorry, I can't do two things at once, you know, even for um, sympathy. And this is a perfect sympathy card. I know I'm very particular about sympathy, but this is a nice set if you need a sympathy card because it's muted, right? It's very beautiful, but muted. So, sympathy, birthday, get well soon. It's an, it's an everyday card, and I'm not one that would ever say that. So the inside, I'm not sure what to do with it. We'll probably put a happy birthday that I find somewhere, but what do you think? Easy, right? Quick, fast, and I really like these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spotlight on nature. Those are a mess. I do like the stamp sets, too, so, you know. Don't be like me. Get all of them and save that 10%. Get the bundle. All right, friends. I had fun. It was quick and easy. And you guys got to hear about my very fun time making three videos that you can't see. But I'll, I'll go back and do my cards, the one. It was pretty. You'll, you'll like it. I promise. Next time, you know, a week or two when I'm, not, when I'm done with the card, I didn't tear it up. I didn't throw it away. I didn't, you know, scream and yell. I didn't do any of that. I... Yep, yep, I did. I was good. All right, friends, have a good one. <laughs> oh, my heavens. I'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Happy Fourth of July.